Hello, hello. Welcome back. All right, you ready for this one? Thai sweet potato soup. Mate, this is a really simple, easy soup to make, and it is absolutely packed full of flavor. This one, you can double or triple the recipe. Just make sure you double or triple everything. All right, the first thing we're gonna need is 750 grams of gold sweet potatoes. I got mine from Woolies. If you can't find gold ones, just get any sort of sweet potato you can get your hands on. All right, we need some red curry paste. This one I just grabbed from Aldi's. Let's see if you're on G. Um, but these are really commonly, you can get them anywhere. So say if I go to the IGA, I'll just go into the little Asian section there and you'll find it there. Now we need lemongrass paste, but I could not find it absolutely anywhere. And I had a jar of this in my cup, um, in my fridge. So this is just lemongrass. It's a hundred gram jar. It was only a couple of bucks from the Asian section. So if you can find the paste, get the paste. If you can't, just get the jar. We might do with that. All right, some sesame seeds and fresh coriander to sprinkle over the top. We need one medium onion. We need some soy milk. Now, we're supposed to have, um, I always use this old so good ones when I do these, but uh, it's supposed to be unsweetened, but this is the only one that I could get. It's the only one left, so I've grubbed it. So we need some soy milk, and we need some light coconut milk. These are only $1.50 a can, and same thing from the Asian section. And that, besides some water, is all we need, folks. <laughs> a bit excited, are you? Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, I love this soup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel our gold sweet potatoes, and we're going to chop them up really small. Once we've done that, we sit that aside for a minute. Now we need a medium to large saucepan. We want to sprinkle a little bit of oil in the bottom. I'm just using some olive oil, but you can use any oil you want. Now we get our one onion. We peel it and chop it really small and throw it in our saucepan. Once we've done that, we'll stick it on our stove top until we're ready. Okay, now the lemongrass. So I'm just going to get a little bowl. Now you need two teaspoons of lemongrass paste. Now I'm just going to grab, I reckon... If it's supposed to be a paste, I'm going to grab four teaspoons. All right, I've just drained it out first. Put four teaspoons in a little bowl. Now, I broke my crusher thingy, which I'm spewing about, so I haven't got another one yet. My, what is it? Metal and porcel metal thing, whatever the hell it's called. So I'm just going to get the spoon, and I'm just going to crush this all down. And I'm going to just use it like that instead of the two teaspoons of paste. All right, so I'll crush that down as good as I can get it with what I'm using. So that will do. So we'll set that aside. So we'll say two teaspoons of lemon paste or four teaspoons of the jar lemongrass. Oh, you have to excuse the lighting in here. So that's not brown, that's just the shadow. <laughs> okay, so we've got our onion in there. So we want to put our heat onto medium and we want to just cook our onion for two minutes until it's see-through. All right, a couple of minutes later, now we want to add three teaspoons of the red curry paste and then we want to mix it around for about a minute. Make two things in there and the smell coming out of this kitchen already is freaking amazing. All right, it's a minute later. Now we add our sweet potato, our lemongrass or lemongrass paste and one and a half cups of water. All right, give it a good mix up. And then as soon as it comes up to the boil, we want to turn it down to a simmer. We want to put the lid on and we want to simmer it for approximately 15 minutes until the sweet potato is cooked. So once the 15 minutes is up, take it off of the stove straight away. Okay, now to that we want to add, sorry, my bad, I forgot to mention at the beginning, we want to now add one teaspoon of salt. I'll write these down in the um, description below. I'll get the recipe right down there. Sorry about that. And we also need one teaspoon of brown sugar. We need two cups of the unsweetened soy milk in there. And half a cup of the light coconut milk. Now we want to mix it in really well. Now what we do next, okay, is just depending on what you've got. So we're going to let it cool down a little bit so we can either blend it, process it, um, mm -mm, thingy-me-jiggy it, or 
as I used to do before I got any of these fancy electric things, is I just used to use a potato masher. And I'll very gently, very carefully mash the whole thing. So you still get little lumps of the onion, but who cares? Um, and now if you've got a processor or a blender, you can put it in, in you know, a couple of lots and blend it up or process it up. And um, then you put it back into the saucepan. I've got one of these things. It's been sitting there forever. I never use it so I'm on for us today. But you know these things? These things? <laughs> I don't know. It, it come with all these different things. The Russell Hobbs one. It looks pretty awesome. But we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Or you get one of these. So once it cools down a bit, it's just... <laughs> Alright, so you're supposed to let it cool down for a bit or a lot so you don't spray boiling hot crap everywhere or, you know, have it in your blender and break it or whatever. But, um, yeah, I've waited like a couple of minutes. So what I thought I might do, because with that hand thing I'm going to do, I can just see it going everywhere, is I'm going to attempt to put some glad wrap over the top. I don't know if this is going to work. This is just something I had in my head. Oh, make sure you're ready. All right, I'm just going to stick a hole in the middle. Enough to get the thing through. We'll see how we go. <laughs> My theory is it will stop it from going everywhere and it won't burn me. So. All right, so it's got one or two. That's awesome. All right, get it in the hole. Okay, my bench is really, really short. All right, well, I suppose I'll go with one. Try two. Oh, definitely one. Feels like it sticks to the bottom. Oh, I got no idea what I was doing. I was just bobbing it up and down all around it. <laughs> the smell coming out is freaking amazing. And by the way, that worked awesomely. <laughs> Alright, take the glare wrap off. Now because I was impatient and did it that way, I don't have to heat it back up, it's still bloody hot. But if you were going to do it in your blender, um, you had to cool it down to do it, you just put it back in your pot, you put it on and you heat it up. You never boil it because we've got all the milks in there now, but you just heat it up nice and hot again. But we've already got it beautiful, ready to go. Let's see how that works. Oh my God, it smells so good. Wow, that did an awesome job. Isn't one of those fancy things, whatever the hell they're called. They work wicked, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, mate, that's a bit flash. Oh, it smells so good. All right, then once you've done that and you've heated it back up, you just serve her up. I would say it's four really nice serves. Okay, so next thing we do is we get some sesame seeds. Sprinkle them over. As little as many as you like. And we get a little bit of coriander. Well, there you have it, lovely. Just like that, an amazing Thai sweet potato soup. Give it a crack. The whole family will like it, young and old. Oh, it's so heartwarming. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.